Hello, this is Azumi Uchitani. Welcome to my channel. And this is 5 minutes on Japanese wisdom. Today's topic is Shinto. So, Shinto is introduced as uh, one of Japanese religion and also uh, life philosophy. So, when it comes to Japanese religion, most of the people think of Buddhism and Zen Buddhism, and Zen has become a kind of symbolic word to describe the uh, inner peace uh, that's uh, originated from Japan as well. However, uh, Shinto is um, more widely uh, unspoken, unspokenly rooted in our life, in our everyday life. And from the um, way of living and also what we believe. So I'm going to introduce very briefly what is Shinto and how we can actually incorporate in our daily life because Shinto is open and there is no, um, not like the religion that you have to follow the specific rules. So Shinto, it dates way back to Jomon period. Jomon period it was recorded around 10,000 BC. So um, there is no founder of Shinto, no dogma, and, and no charismatic leader like Jesus Christ or Buddha. So it was um, just immersed to protect the community, to protect the family and to wish for the harvest, to protect themselves from the disastrous nature uh, instant. So to live harmoniously and to live safely in the community. So Shinto means, Shin is actually means Kami, it's a, a God. I don't like to use the word God, but it actually means God. And then uh, Do is as you have heard like judo, sado, it's a way of, so it's way, way of God. So very simply, Shinto is the concept that started, that the God is in nature, or nature is God. So we believe, um, well, like for example, uh, on the nature is living and it has a spirit, it has uh, energy and the nature is the gate to, well, connect to our higher self. And also in the belief of Shinto, every object can actually take our energy. So in current um, modern science, well, maybe you may be aware of uh, quantum physics, for example, talk about uh, fifth dimensions and how the energy connects. And so um, it is um, the ancient version of quantum physics in a way. So we are connected um, by the spirit um, or the energy and the gate, the Shinto uh, shrine. We have a shrine and the gate to the shrine is the gate to the sacred place and also the gate to the God. And also the Sinto rituals that we practice, seasonal rituals, seasonal festival, that is also the gate to connect to the God, to our God. So the God means really the uh, higher self, higher frequency of energy. So what is the difference between Buddhism and the Shinto? So, well, we have in Shinto, we have a Jinja. You may have seen this uh, um, uh, the beautiful gate. And some places has the, of course, the uh, shrine. And some places only uh, recorded historically, this is a sacred place or a sacred tree. So it has an enormous power of energy that we can actually, we are invited to connect to the higher energy. And Buddhism, for Buddhism, we have Tera, Jin, sorry, Tera, temples. So with the, uh, so we go to, in the temple, it is also more inner to train our inner strengths and uh, 
uh, well, the way to en enlightenment as well, but uh, more for the self-discipline. So Shinto is more to connect with our external world and to live harmoniously. And we, for example, uh, New Year's Day, we go to Shinto shrine uh, to make a wish day to appreciate and to thank for what we have um, what we have achieved, but also to uh, uh, to thank for our coming year. So then it's actually connecting, letting us to connect to the higher energy. So Shinto is open to anybody. Uh, we can practice Shinto even in Japan, even if you are a Catholic or Protestant. We can still go to Shinto shrine um, and the, there is a Shinto priest uh, uh, who is also open to welcome anybody. So it is, uh, as I said, there is no dogma. There has been like a Greek mythology, had the Shinto mythology. So then there are millions of God in nature and there is uh, um, um, iconic figures from the mythology and the so it is a, a, a part of animism, animism um, in the Western world. So, well, um, it is a gentle way of life and the philosophy. And the most important thing is to, in Shinto practice, uh, is purification. So to purify our energy to connect with higher energy. So we have um, a ritual of cleaning. I think I have done another um, talk about cleaning, uh, clean our environment, but also clean ourselves, hygienically, but also clean our mind. When the Buddhism was introduced uh, around sixth century from China to Japan, Shinto had already existed. So then, uh, instead of fighting, they kind of emerged, they coexisted for centuries. So, um, and that's actually how we are living, basically, uh, in both teachings. So then, uh, just a basic step one to, of a way of life with Shinto is purification, purifying our um, energy our thought, especially from the negative thought. So uh, to be conscious, aware of what we are thinking, but also to clean, clean our environment with compassion. Thank you very much. If you would like to know more, um, please uh, go to my website and where there will be article and also uh, please feel free to request for longer lecture uh, where I can explain a bit more and, and a bit deeper and I can accept your question as well. So uh, please visit my website azimutitan.com and well, see you next time. Bye bye.